Hi, and welcome to GoGen Podcast, episode 33, PlannerCast, episode 11. It is Sunday, September 13th, 2015. Um, here in Southern Virginia, in the U.S., we are having an absolutely gloriously beautiful day. The temperatures have cooled off. Um, when I walked my dogs earlier today, it it's just a perfect day. So I'm hoping this is going to be a perfect YouTube upload day, too. We'll see. Um, the first thing I wanted to mention is the goodies that I ordered and then received. You may remember way back when I first got my uh, Foxy Fix Fomidori that I wanted to make myself a folder. Um, I followed the instructions on a YouTube video, Pocket Full of Vintage. Um, it's still there. It's a great instructional pot, uh, video. Uh, this is what I made from that video. And I wasn't happy with it. It didn't didn't make my heart sing. It looked like a used file folder, which it was. And um, I just wasn't happy with it, so I never used it. Um, so I ordered two pocket folders from Annika Handy on Ham B, excuse me, on um, Etsy. And these are the two. I got them this week, and I am completely blown away with how beautiful they are. Um, they are basically the same as the folders in the video, but these don't look like used file folders. These are beautiful, uh, made with coordinating papers, um, nice and crisp just just gorgeous so um, I've put them in my um, journal but I haven't put anything in them yet they're just so gorgeous uh, I can't decide what I'm going to do they are also taking the place of this um, folder that I made from a um, page protector um, page protector and then some washi tape and while I liked this well enough, um, because that's where I would keep stickers and stuff um, for on the go, I just never was that thrilled with it. So it is falling by the wayside. So now for a quick flip through of what's going on with me lately. Here is my Foxy Fix Faux Midori. In the very beginning, I have one of my new folders from Annika Hanby on Etsy and boy does that make me happy every time I open up my book. Okay the first book is my journal it is from Yellow Paper House and it is the dot version and this is I believe in the uh, I don't remember but it's in it's in shades of blues the pages are and I really have enjoyed the uh, paper. I do not like the dots and I realized that I'm taking up I suppose more journaling pages than are provided for in this journal so I've had to add just some regular notebook paper to make up the difference. Um, it is as always making me happy. Last weekend was a long four-day weekend for me so it was just wonderful I had more time to journal so that was a good thing I did stay up way too late on Tuesday night and then all day Wednesday I fought sleep and I was at work and I was miserable and I felt like any minute somebody was going to tap me on the shoulder and tell me to wake up because I had I didn't want to fall asleep. I didn't mean to be so sleepy, but I was. So that night I came straight home, went to bed right after dinner, did not journal or do anything. Somehow I had skipped these two pages when I was writing, so when I realized my mistake, I just filled them up with my Zentangle patterns. 
and I did journal a lot this week. I'm trying to find work that is going to make me happy. Um, I think I'd be more happy if I didn't have to work, but <laughs> uh, we haven't hit the lottery yet. So um, I, I need to find, I'm, I'm thinking now that I need to find some kind of work that I can do at home, maybe something from the internet or something like a contract employee, I don't know. I, I really need to investigate it more. So, um, I've really, really been thinking about it. You'll see here's where I've added just regular plain old notebook paper to my journal. And um, that it's doing just fine. I'm totally happy with it. And yes, the person who says that I don't forward decorate my journal well I have I've decorated this is going to be the uh, today's journaling page and I knew somehow I don't I don't know really how but I knew that it was going to have to do with Facebook Instagram and YouTube so I went ahead and while I had my stickers out I went ahead and put those on this is the back page of my journal and I have really been enjoying it I am um, noting down how much time I spend crafting every day. Um, the day that I fell asleep or was falling asleep all day, I had crafted at lunch for about 30 minutes. So that was good. It, at least I had some crafting in that day. Um, and I'm trying to keep track of my uh, projects that I make for the Harry Potter House Cup. I had... You'll see on the right side that I had an original plan, and now I've come up with a second plan, and I need to tape that in as well. So um, that's the back of the journal, and then the back of the Annika Hanby folder. They're just, I don't know if I'm going to be able to put anything in them. They're just so beautiful. They are gorgeous and so well made. Um, this is where the back cover of one, the front cover of the other. Okay, this is my art journal, or um, it's where I put my challenges from the Fobonichi Journalers uh, Facebook group. There's a daily challenge there. I also um, follow the Reset Girl and Lister's Got a List. So some of these will be one and not the other. Some will be both. Some will be something altogether different. So... That's. I really am glad that I've decided to be more freeform with that. Um, like on the right side of this page, or this spread, um, I saw this quote by Stephen Hawking, quiet people have the loudest minds. And quite often, that's what keeps me awake at night, is that I just can't get... Uh, my brain to shut up long enough for me to go to sleep. So that really spoke to me, and I thought, boy, that's me. And so I did like an illustrated quote, and that just, just tickled me pink. Um, I decided when I was thinking there that I've been using the same uh, tangle patterns um, since I've learned them. And so I want to try for the next week or so to use only new tangle patterns that I haven't seen. I, um, the challenge on the left side page was, I think that was from Lister's Got a List, and it was, is there more past or future? And I guess there's more past for me. Um but that was a really good prompt because it it sure makes you think. Um, and, you know, you, you never know how much longer you have, but um, hopefully it's going to be a long time. I've got, I've got a lot of projects to do, and I keep discovering more things that I want to get started to. I wanted to mention on the right side of the page that the next spread... 
Um, I used some markers and there was quite a bit of bleed through. Um, these, this book also, I realized I was going to run out of pages. So I used just some copy paper at work um, that had and printed it with graph paper on one side. Um, and it's really thin. Um, and so I had a lot of bleed through. And I just want to show you how I kind of dealt with that, both on this page before the next one and then on the one afterward. This was the Five on Friday prompt from the Fobonichi Journalers uh, Facebook group. And I just, I love it. It's, uh, as soon as I see the prompt, I start thinking of how I'm going to work with it. Um, this one uh, wanted three different papers, pens that matched. Um, there was a sticker or something with a drinks theme, something metallic, and circles or whirly, swirly lines. So I cut some uh, circles out of some a little paper pad I have. Um, I have this uh, metallic sticker. It's like a border sticker that I used. And for the drinks, I just had to draw a glass there. And... <laughs> Right before I started working on this, I had watched a, a news video about drunk driving, um, killing some teenagers. And um, so I, I just was like, okay, tiny bubbles don't always make you feel fine. <laughs> don't drink and drive. Uh, because that was just really on my mind. It's like, no, no, don't drink, don't drink. Bad things, bad things. But... Uh, Anyway, I was pleased with the spread once it was done. And you see how I did my little box around the requirements for the page? That bled through uh, on this next page. And so I just put down some little pieces of washi tape where the bleed through was pretty bad. And it's, it's really not that noticeable, is it? So I was pleased. And um, this was a prompt showing you how to draw... A giraffe and so I did this was like the snail and the fox that I did last week so I am learning quite the menagerie of uh, things to draw <laughs> um, the next page I went online and was looking for different tangle patterns from the one I've ones I've been using and I want to try to use these this coming week um, so they'll be different from the ones that I've used in the past. Um, and then that way these can become new favorites. And so I think that's going to be kind of fun to um, kind of force me to move out of my little comfort zone. The page on the left are my uh, current favorites that um, I've been using in practically everything that I've worked on lately. On the right side of the page, it's from uh, the Lister's Got a List Challenge, and um, I didn't feel very artistic about either one of the prompts, and so I just did a list, and I did them two on one page. I, You know, they don't have to be embellished. They don't have to be artistic. They don't have to be anything. Um, but I think it really does help me to have something to think about when I'm uh, doing my my pages uh, and my journaling. And there's the back of that journal with my new folder. Okay, here is my month spread uh, with the month of September plan, and there's really very little there. Um, I've got a road trip coming up with my uh, daughter and my grandson. And then I have a week of vacation from work. Um, my daughter and grandson and I are going to Berryville, Virginia, uh, to the Shenandoah Valley Fiber Festival. And that'll be on September 26th, 27th, and 28th. 
And so we are going to stay in a hotel. We're going to drive up after work on Friday and after my grandson gets out of school. And um, then my birthday will be the Saturday that we're there. So I'm just really, I'm looking forward to having the time with my my daughter and my grandson. I hope he won't be too bored. Um, I know they have some animals there, and I, I hope he's going to enjoy himself. And, of course, we know we'll, we'll eat out and we'll have fun like that, too. So um, other than the grand holiday known as my birthday, <laughs> there's not a lot of other things going on in September. This is my uh, current week where I'm finishing up today. And um, I try to stamp a grid stamp for my checkoff box of things that I like to keep track of. And it was a total and complete fail. And um, so I just took some of the paper tape um, and covered over it and then made that my checkoff for this week because it was terrible. You can see where the ink pads ghosted through and the boxes were too small um, because I, I'm trying to get away from pasting in an extra little piece of paper to do that on. Uh, but I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, there for this coming week, starting tomorrow, uh, I have, I just drew it in with a pen and a ruler. So that, that just may be what I have to do. Um, I think that's, that's just going to be what it is. And I have done some more forward decorating for my birthday <laughs> week. Uh, my birthday is September 27th. So, uh, while I had my stickers out, I said, ooh, ooh, I can use this happy birthday sticker. <laughs> um, and it that made me happy, which very it takes very little to make me happy, but that was enough that day. And then I was uh, looking at a drawing challenge that I could do for the Harry Potter house cup, and so I did a witch on her broom flying. And that just didn't, I was pretty happy with her. I, I drew her kind of while I was looking directly at the picture of what I wanted it to come out like, <laughs> and it kind of did. Um, but I decided that wasn't enough, so I did some watercolor painting and made her a full moon and night sky to paint uh, to fly against, and that really made me happy. Um, and so I'm probably going to shrink that down and figure out how to put it in my journal, but because um, right now it's too big to fit in my journal, so I've got to figure that out. But I was very, very pleased with her. Now for the portion of the program where I talk about my yarn projects. Um, as you know, last week I declared what I wanted to do for my project for my owl in the Harry Potter house cup and we got a new set of uh, challenges for homework uh, for different classes in that and I decided for most of the classes I'm going to try to do a sock yarn blanket square and um, then when because that's going to give me more time to concentrate on my bigger projects that I have so here's one of the sock yarn blanket squares that I did and another and another so I'd got three squares done one was for he the headmistress challenge one was for uh, the first Quidditch challenge and one was for a class so I'm really pleased that I've gotten uh, gotten that much done I think um, some people kind of make really wonderful big huge beautiful projects for classes, but I am very happy doing a sock yarn blanket square because it's something I can knock out in one evening after work and it's mindless and I don't have to think about what I'm doing. So those are making me happy. This is my hitchhiker shawl that is one of the projects that's in my owl. 
and I have just completed the eighth tooth because that's what the designer Martina Beam um, that's what she calls see they look like teeth on the side one two three four five six seven eight I just did the eighth one it is um, stockinette stitch um, back and forth with a lot of knit front and back um, which that's the only real stitch <laughs> I mean you know that's that's tricky and you just have to hold on to what you're doing um, and I've had to put that little stitch holder there because for some reason I think I must have dropped a stitch or I don't know what I did but I when I had gone on for a couple inches and then I looked back I saw that I had this piece poking out um, and it looks like a some kind of stitch has come out and I know it would make a mess uh, if it if it went back to the original um, you know if the if it came out all along that row so I put a stitch marker on it and then when I go across with a little crocheted edging at the top of the shawl I will pick up that um, stitch and make sure that it gets locked in and closed and doesn't go anywhere so aside from that that's just um, smooth sailing I try to do at least two teeth when I'm working on it um, which it's getting the rows are getting longer and longer so it's going to take longer to get that done as I go but um, so far I'm liking it it's not making me angry the way knitting does sometimes and there's a close-up of the teeth and the fabric really liking it here is what I've gotten so far on my Allegro wrap um, at first I thought this was going to be a real pain but then like most repeating patterns once you get going and you do the repeat a couple times you just all you have to do is look and see which row you're on and you know what you've got to do so um, I'm I'm liking this very very much I, I think it's going to be just beautiful and there's a little close up and ching 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 <laughs> holiday planning I uh, didn't do very much this week other than um, I did have some little that little real thin wooden ornaments I got some of these and um, one pack that I got is drawn the pictures drawn on like the Santa Claus and then I have six other ornaments that I plan to just do Zentangles in. So we'll see how that goes. My goal last week was to do two of them. My goal this week is to do a dozen. Um, I've got some other kinds of ornaments and other ideas I want to see. And maybe I can get some done for our craft fair at work and sell them. Um, just see how it goes. Okay, that is all I have to say about that today. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Um, I really do appreciate you being here because I know how many other uh, things there are to watch because I do watch a ton of things on YouTube, uh, how-tos, DIYs, and a lot of podcasts. So I truly do appreciate you being here with me today. Um, Gojen is how you can find me, G-O-J-E-N-N, -N, on Ravelry, on Instagram, and on YouTube. Um, you can like the video or leave a comment. Um, it'd be great if you'd subscribe, and that way you get a notice email uh, every time I upload a new episode. And that way you don't miss anything, because that would be just terribly traumatic, I know. And so my journal is closed, and the band is on. It is time to go for this week. As always, 
I wish you a week of love and laughter until I see you again. Thanks for watching.